Canadian Film Review is an official sponsor of this year's Canadian Film Festival, taking place March 20th to the 23rd at the Royal Cinema in beautiful downtown Toronto. For more information, visit canfilmfest.ca. Blackbird is director Jason Buxton's feature film debut, and it had its world premiere at last year's TIFF. The dark and harrowing film stars Connor Jessup, who gives a superb performance as a troubled teen who is wrongfully accused of plotting a school shooting. Blackbird tied Brandon Cronenberg's anti-viral for the Best Canadian First Feature Film Award at the 2012 Toronto International Film Festival. We spoke with Jason about what the audiences can expect with Blackbird. Blackbird is is a film about a uh, troubled teenager who's falsely accused of planning a Columbine cell massacre. And subsequent to that, he's remanded in youth detention where he faces uh, intense abuse and violence and is uh, compelled to um, go against his own personal integrity to, uh, to get released. And it's about the repercussions of that and what one has to face when when they uh, when they're compelled to compromise you know. one of the things that I really noticed about the themes was uh, there was a real theme of, of a witch hunt in, mm -hmm. in it absolutely At, like that small town kind of perception of uh, you know of uh, easy to fear or you know and and the other theme I, I really noticed was this is a boy's journey to become into manhood and really towards the latter end of that you see that that kind of how he's developed and, and grown from this adversity yeah it's great that yeah that you picked up on that because it's it is a coming of age story it's a rite of passage and essentially he grew up without his dad and uh, when I researched um, for the film, and I was speaking to a lot of at-risk youth, that was one thing they had in common, is they either didn't have a dad at home, or they, they lived with their mother, and, and you know they had different uh, stepdads that were in and out of their lives, so they didn't have that consistency. Something I wanted to talk to you about was the directing style. It seemed incredibly real to me. It was um, perhaps one of the most realistic looking films I think I've, I've seen, and not so much from a documentarian perspective, but just how you lit it and how, how it was shot. It, 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 it's, it looked very cinematic, but it also had a real sense of you were living with these people and their story. Can you tell me, was, was that a decision that you made? What I had written is we're gonna be so close to this character, we're going to know what flavor of gum he chews. Yeah. And so that was something we brought forward. And then with the, um, with the budget restrictions, it became that much more reinforced that we were going to track this character um, at all times. He's, he's almost in every, not just every shot, but almost every frame of the movie, there's barely a frame that he doesn't occupy in some capacity. So. Uh, you know, it's about guiding principles and about sticking to those principles. And it's, in a way, it's a, it's a simple recipe. You, it, a film has a style when you commit to something. I wasn't planning to kill her. I wasn't planning anything. Are you recording me? I didn't even realize she's not your friend, Sean. It's just a story. A story of revenge? Big Brother's watching. What do you say we put an end to all this? Doesn't anybody care about the 